let's get some background here. In the beginning, when we bought the property, there was a road um, from the highway to the river. It was not a good road. I could not drive my truck on it. Um, it had too many ditches and ruts. And over the next year or so, we made the road nice, put in lots of culverts. And now anybody can drive any car all the way to the river. And then since then, I've been making trails. And the last one I'm working on, I'm not finished yet, was I made this red line, and that's the vine trail, and I did a video on it. And then I did the blue trail, and I did a video on it. And now I'm in the process of trying to establish this purple trail or this pink trail. And that's what this video is about. Well, it's been a while, but I'm back on the trail starting like right now. I just got a scoop of dirt to go over that first pipe because it's a little bit low. I'm going to put maybe one more. And then I got the little track over here. And we're going to go to that second crossing and see if we can uh, if we can cross it. See how it is. I think it's pretty dry. So I'm heading to work this morning, off to work, and I don't need this big pipe for a long time, but I'm heading that way, so I might as well bring it. Save me a trip later on. So I'm probably gonna need my mats also, but I can only carry so much at a time. I'm gonna need my eight inch pipe too, but I got this one, so I'll go as far as I can and drop this one off. Come back later and get the eight inch. Might even need the mats first, I don't know. We'll see how, see how soft it is. Okay, dropped off my pipe. Here we are. This is where a few months back I was dipping just really sloppy stuff out of that hole and building up this road. And then I came a month or so ago and tried to track out there and it was not too bad. Um, but it was it was going to need some more work. And then I got sidetracked with my septic system, which is probably the best thing that could happen. So just need to uh, track out there to level this out. And then on the far end, I guess I'll just dig some more slop and build that up also. Maybe I can find some dry stuff to dig up. I'm skimming the top here with a blade. Um, you can't see it because I have a camera pointing in the wrong direction. But I'm trying to get some of this dry material at that far end over that uh, fiberglass pipe. That fiberglass pipe is not the toughest stuff in the world. You know, once you get it buried, it's okay, but it's a little brittle and it'll crack. So I'm, I want to make sure I got some material over the top of it before I uh, try to cross it with a traco. Definitely still softer on the right side. Um, I might have cut too much dirt out of here. I might have cut back to the wet stuff, but uh, I'm not going to cut anymore. I'm just going to try to get this flat, and then with a leap of faith, we're going to uh, we're going to cross that fiberglass pipe. It doesn't have a whole lot of cover on it right now, but I'll see what I can do. So the soil on the far side of the pipe was not the best. Actually, it was very wet and I was picking up water with the dirt. So uh, I'll put some down and then we tried something different. Thank you. 
So you see what I'm doing? I'm tracking back over here where the dirt is more dirt-like. And then bring it over there and push it in front of me. And unfortunately, it's really soft over there. So I don't know whether it'll bridge or not. Um, I can always go back and get all my little mats and try to get across that. And then it goes uphill a little bit. So then I can go on that side and dig some drier dirt maybe and turn around and throw it behind me. I'm not sure, but I got to get past this super soft spot. All right, we passed. Passed over it one and a half, two times. So it's still pretty soft, but it's not scary soft. And I got it up high above the water level and we're supposed to have a week of no rain. So it'll only get better every day. And I got a lot of work I can do in the woods. I don't need to cross over it again anytime soon, except to get the big pipe, but I don't need it for a long time. The little pipe, that eight inch pipe, I can carry on my shoulder because that's how it got that far. So let's, uh, let's go in the woods, see what's happening. I talk about electric lines and electric uh, servitude and electric clearings and uh, all the time and it's confusing because there's two different players here. One, this high voltage transmission line cuts across our property. Um, it's not the lines we get power from. They just cut straight across and they have the right to 50 feet on each side of their poles to keep clear. Now they don't mow it but they do cut down trees and I think this big trunk was a tree they cut down and they don't clean up their mess. They just don't want a tree that could possibly touch or uh, hinder their um, power lines and they don't want trees to grow up where they can't get their swamp buggies and stuff up in here if they have to. The other power lines is local co-op and those are the people that we get power for the cabin and their contract says every five years they're going to come and they can cut anything 15 feet on each side of the poles that they consider to be a hindrance. So that's my two, my two players right there. I have scouted this out like five times and I already forgot which way I'm going to go or want to go. I do see a red pin flag in a tree over there. I think I'll just uh, do some footwork before I start. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to dig up a lot of little baby trees, which I'd rather not. But if I'm going to make a trail through here, maybe I'm going to go that way. Let's see. Okay, I found my flags. They were on the back side of the tree. I'm going to go through here, and this is was wet just a week ago, so that's where I'm going to put that 8-inch pipe, that 8-inch PVC. And then I think it ekes a little higher, and I won't have to use that big pipe before. i got to go quite a way, so it's going to be slow go. I'm going to have to move some trees, some little ones. So here we go. I'm heading into the woods. This is totally different than um, working under the power lines. And the first thing I did was dig up a little probably a privet because you can run over those things five times with the tracks and smash them into the ground with a bucket and they pop right back up and they're a big trick trip hazard so my goal is to not cut anything wider than i have to if i can fit the trico between the trees then the ranger and the four wheelers can fit between the trees my goal is to try to avoid flipping the oak trees because <clears throat> they make acorns and Colin loves to shoot the deers. Um, so there's a lot of these. I don't know what that is. I think it's a beach. And there's a lot of the sweet bays. So I'm heading for this big tree stump. Um, this is a waterway. Last, last week there was standing water here. Um, the closer you can get to a big tree, the more stable it is. So I'm starting out by this big tree, clearing all the brush. I'm digging a, a swale to put that 8-inch pipe so uh, we can cross this little area. Now by the 
tree it's pretty stable but further to the right and just past it's not stable at all so scooping out a little spot for the pipe we're going to go back and get the pipe and drop it in the hole and try desperately to find some dirt to put over the hole Okay, I'm ready to go get that eight inch plastic pipe and I'm getting pounded by mosquitoes. So I'm gonna go back to the cabin and get my, my long sleeve uh, pants on and get a bunch of bug spray. And uh, we're about to cross this first obstacle and that's the only water crossing I have for quite a while. Although I got a bajillion little trees to take out. This is a, an old person trying to deal with an iPhone. They shouldn't be allowed to have iPhones. Hey, what's happening? Wait, I don't want to film me. How do I fix this? <laughs> it's broke. Well, the pipe got here by, thanks to the ranger, I drug it over here. And I gotta put it in the hole and it looks like this is gonna be, once again, very soft, but we'll see. There's not much span between here and there. So maybe we can wing it some kind of way. Okay, pipe's in the hole. I probably should have just gone down there and put it in by hand, but I played with the Traco and did it. And now I need to try to find some dirt to put on it. And right here is another really good spot for dirt. Maybe if I back up a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna cover it with dirt and I'm gonna go that way. So I dropped a pipe in the hole and I decided I wanted to turn it around end for end because the planing is cracked. Um, I wanted to bail in to the left, so. I started playing around here with the Draco and I should have just walked down there and picked it up and turned it around because this took way longer than it should have. I just don't have any room to move. So I went to Ferguson's, uh, they're a pipe supplier, they're a big nationwide pipe supplier. And I just uh, parked my truck outside the gate and I just went and walked around the yard. There was nobody out there. And I found this broken piece of eight inch. Uh, it's a SDR pipe and this is what I was looking for. So I went inside and talked to the manager and he says, we don't have any broken pipe on our yard. And I said, well, yeah, yeah you do. I just went and looked in your yard and you have a broken piece and you have a dented piece of six inch. And so he walked around with me and he was super nice. And I ended up getting um, this eight inch that had a damaged piece of six inch, it had a cut piece of six inch and he couldn't understand how cut piece of pipe got in his yard because they don't sell partial pipes and one good six inch that was just kind of sunburned it had been knocked around for a long time so I bought all, all four pieces for a hundred bucks which was a bargain and I have a feeling that he would have just given them to me but uh I, I, no complaints if I can get four joints of pipe for a hundred bucks that's a deal All right, pretty desperate for some, some support here. I've cut a bunch of branches and laid them down. That other red pin flag is where it goes uphill and it gets a little more solid, but between here and there, it's pretty sketchy. Only good thing is there's lots of trees around, so if I start to sink, I can usually grab a tree and pull myself along. Let's see. So I tried to get some cover on the pipe. There was nothing that I could grab, really. It was either mush or it was... Um, there's big trees with roots and I don't want to kill the trees so I may do with some mush and a lot of branches I got across the pipe I sunk on the after I got over the pipe on the far side and not badly I was able to pull myself out but at some point we got to go back and address this issue because it's not acceptable but uh, once I got maybe eight feet past that little low area then it was all good I could just track and I was just dealing with, with trees and trying to make progress. Uh, no more mud. Made it. I'm not gonna be able to go back through there until I get one. Until I find some 
done some dry hair. Not good. And I had to pull myself along. So now we're making a trail. Um, it, again, it's if the track hoe can fit through, then the other machines can fit through. However, the track hoe can make a right turn, and the the little four wheelers and the um, our little side by side cannot make right turns. So I've got to keep that in mind. And also, it's kind of tricky to not look ahead because you can definitely get yourself boxed up and then have to back up, and then you dug up a bunch of trees for nothing. So. Um, what follow my red flags and every now and then I get off and walk ahead and uh, this was uh, this was kind of fun actually making this trail through through the jungle I think I missed my turn. I'm gonna back up a little bit and I'm gonna come right up here. And you see, this is the wet. This is the wet I went through with the eight inch pipe. Come in here, this goes uphill. This is kind of kind of dry. Lots of little crappy trees. I can take those down. And right on the other side is another wet. It's a even, it's a wetter wet. So what I'm having to do is turn left toward that red pin flag i don't know if you can see it and we're going to follow this ridge and this is where i had staked it out before we follow this ridge for quite a while and there's man there's a million trees but none of them are treasures so we'll just dig them up all right boys and girls we've been at it for a little while and we're inching along and i haven't damaged the machine i haven't gotten slapped in the face real hard yet um we're following the pin flags uh, we've got a ways to go but it's, I gotta go. I gotta um, pick up a refrigerator this afternoon for the cabin. I'm gonna walk back to the ranger and I'm bringing the loppers with me and I'm gonna cut anything I can see that I can cut that's, you know, that I've already pushed over just to make it a little easier to handle. Probably need to bring the chainsaw with me. Just, there's nowhere on this machine to carry a chainsaw. So, okay, so tomorrow I'll walk back over here. We can leave the machine right where it is, safe and sound and we'll continue now where i crossed that fiberglass pipe a little while ago that's as bad as it's ever going to be it's only going to get better because it has elevation and it has sunshine this right here is not going to get better by itself because it has no elevation you can see where my track sunk down that's about where the water level is and it never is going to get any sun so i'm going to have to probably bring in some dirt I don't know how. I guess I can just grab a bucket and track back and forth. It's a pretty straight shot. But we got to fix that. And, uh, yeah, let's call it a day over here. Let's head back to the cabin, take a shower, get ready to go buy an $80 refrigerator. That should be an adventure. <clears throat> well, it's a new day. It's early in the morning. I'm early. It's been a little while with the loppers and my little electric chainsaw trying to clear some of this brush that I've knocked down. I love my electric chain, so I need to do a whole video on that thing. Um, so, we're going to keep making some progress. Now, on my way out of here, in a week or two, whenever I tie the trail together, I will do a final cleaning and rip up the roots and make it so you can walk this trail without tripping so bad. Right now, it's a mess. <laughs> Oh, 
always try to flip the trees up on the right side of the boom because I'm actually sitting on the left side of the boom so the boom protects me from getting slapped in the face. getting a little constricted in here. Got all these saplings and uh, if I'm not careful, they can come up here in the cab and stab me or they can break my hydraulic hoses. So I'm gonna, uh, I got the machine off. I'm gonna go back and get my little chainsaw and cut these into shorter, more manageable pieces and then keep going. Um, this is not, nothing here that I can't do. It's just, man, there's a lot of little trees. Most of them are, I believe, well, I don't know what they are. They're all different kinds. So I haven't gone too much further, but I need to get the chainsaw again because these these things are gonna these things are gonna hurt me or, or break a hydraulic hose if I try to run over them. And it's so dense I can't shove them off to the side. So let me get my little chainsaw and go. This is my fifty dollar battery powered electric Chinese chainsaw. It takes uh, my Dewalt battery. I didn't have it didn't come with a battery. It takes a Dewalt battery, and it came with three chains. And it is awesome for cutting down popcorn trees um, the wood on the popcorn trees is a lot softer than this this stuff's pretty hard but it's one-handed so I can hold the saw with one hand and the spray with another hand I don't have to keep putting stuff down uh, it's just it's great um, there's no oiler so the chains will stretch because they wear on every little link wears a little bit and they stretch a little bit and they usually stretch before they get dull so I run out of a uh, room to tighten them anymore because they're too long but you, I just ordered four more and it was 15 bucks for four chains so yeah I, I really like this little thing unfortunately I just took out took down a tulip tree which I really didn't mean to these are my new most favorite trees in the woods they have a very distinctive leaf you can't really confuse them with anything because the leaf doesn't have a point it's truncated and they grow massively tall and they shed their branches as they grow so they end up just being straight stalks and then they grow a nice flower which you can't see because it's up in the sky but anyway that happens so i'm kind of cleaned out a little bit i'm gonna go a little farther i think i'm not sure which way i'm gonna go i need to head that way there's no easy way no matter which way i go i gotta cut down trees i think i'm gonna go on this side of this whatever that is so I just mapped out the rest of the trail. I've done this like five times, but it keeps changing a little bit. And we got a little ways to go. Let me show you which way I think I'm gonna go. Okay, straight through here, no trees. Just these little, I think these are sweet bay popping up everywhere. These little sweet bay trees. 
Now, that's the water I got across, but we're not crossing it here. We're gonna go back this way again. No trees. Well, which way was it gonna go? Maybe that wasn't the way I was gonna go, but I gotta come through here by this big giant tree. I'm looking for my red flags. I see one. Come through here. Pretty easy going. Just a little baby sweet bay. A lot of holes. I guess it's for an animal. I don't know if they're still in there. I hope not because I'm covering them up. I think it's rotten tree trunk. Okay, we're going to go this way. Let's see another flag. And I'm stuck. And here we are. I don't know if you can see it, but that's the trail over there that I cut through the pine trees that I did not film. It ties into the vine trail. And this right here is where I'm gonna put that last big uh, fiberglass pipe because it's a pretty deep little gully. When we get to here, if I get here today, I will back out and uh, fine grade kind of as I go out, make sure there's no stumps and stuff. Anyway, yeah, we got our work cut out for us right now.
can't tell and I don't want to damage that tree that shouldn't be a problem I can come between here I can take out these tall spindly trees and I go on this side I'm not sure what that is and go on this side and then come around between these two big trees and where do I go from here I don't see any flags I think I could go around the outside I think I'm getting close to the separate water crossing yeah it's over that way so so I could go I could go between these trees I don't know if you can see the red flag that's where I'm trying to get to all right well I'm kind of running low on batteries this is kind of repetitive so I'm gonna turn you off I'm gonna push down some more trees made it we are here at the last water crossing wasn't bad. All these little trees, they're so much easier because I can just pull those through them and not worry about them springing up and breaking a hose or something. So yeah, the last 50 feet went really fast. So now I'm gonna back all the way out using my bucket and my blade and kind of clean it up enough where I can ride the uh, the little truckster through here. Not the truckster, what is it? My new truckster, my replacement truckster. As I backed out, I cleaned up and cleaned up pretty good. I'm pretty much done with this part of the trail. So what's left? Well, four pipe crossings. Uh, the first fiberglass crossing, which is in pretty good shape, but it still needs some love. The eight inch PVC pipe, which needs some dirt. That's all it needs. I just need to find some dirt. And then this uh, fiberglass pipe that we haven't put in yet on this deep ravine. And this one shouldn't be too bad because it's both sides of the ditch are high and dry, so I should be able to find some fill for it. And further in on the trail that you haven't seen, there's one little low spot I need to drop. One of my little black flexible six inch um, pipes across so that uh, it won't be a mud hole. And that'll be it. So, um, yep, one more video on this trail and it'll be done. So anyway, Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you like tractor work because that's all this one was.